Hello statistics students. In this tutorial, we will look at another very useful function in Google Sheets, which is SUMIF. So we search for SUMIF Google Sheets and here we again go to the doc, docs editor's help. And here we are in this page which explains SUMIF to us and the syntax is SUMIF and the first parameter is a range which is the range over which a criterion is going to be tested. And the second parameter is the criterion that we want to test, the pattern or test to be applied to range. And then the sum range is the range that needs to be summed if that criterion is matched. So what we are doing in sum if is this is basically summing with an if. So if this criterion is matched on this range, then we do the sum on this sum range. So the example for this is you probably recognize this as a shopping bill data set card from the computational thinking course. Here, let us say we want to add all the stationary items costs. That would be 200 plus 24. We should get 224. So once again, this is an example. In reality, you are likely to have really large data sets where you can't personally, physically go through all of them and do these sums. So, how we do it in these cases is, this is equal to, we are now uh, giving the sum if formula here. And the first parameter is the range. So, the range is all categories. Since we are concerned about all the categories, we are looking for stationary items specifically. So, we take the range to be all the categories and these categories have to match a particular criterion and here that criterion is it should be stationary so i am putting it in these double quotation marks because it's a string and this string will be matched against the cells in that range and now we are looking for what are we supposed to sum? Once we find stationary in this range, what are we supposed to sum? We are supposed to sum the cost. So this is the summing range. And then we press enter. Here we are with 224. So that is 200 plus 24. So instead of stationary, if we did electronics, we are getting 1000. So that is 210 plus 790. So, this is how SUMIF works. Here we did the criterion matching against text. Instead, if we were to do it against numbers, for example, if we wanted to look at quantities that are purchased as single item, so the quantity should be 1. So, here the, sum, uh, the range that we are matching the criterion against is this, and the criterion we are matching is whether it is 1. So now it's a number. I don't need to use the quotation marks. I can directly put 1 and enter. And so we have 210 plus 140 plus 790. 210 plus 790 is already 1000. We had seen additionally 140 gives us 1140. We could do other kinds of evaluations on numbers. For instance, we can look for items that were purchased more than one at a time so the quantity should be greater than one and here we have an error because greater than one is not a number it's a formula it's a criterion we are testing again so as a formula this has to be put in quotation marks and now we press enter and here we're getting 224 which is these two 200 plus 24 because these are the only quantities which are greater than one so in this way, we can use SUMIF to specifically sum certain cells based on some criterion which is matched against a range. Thank you.